first we're going to record the temperature of the copper chloride. And we'll put this in here. It will be about 22 degrees, 21 degrees Celsius. So you'll write that down right here. Okay, because this is observations before. Okay, then what you're going to do is after you, you've recorded your observations, you know, what color is it, what's the temperature, okay, including the aluminum foil, what do you notice before about this, the aluminum foil? You can even write uh, the weight measurement that I gave earlier for that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to lightly crumple it, as so. Not real, you know, not real tight, but just lightly. And then you're going to put it in the solution. And then observe. Okay, what do we notice happening here? What's going on? Notice the change in color. can take the glass stirring rod and you can mix it. Look what hap what's happening to the foil. And then we'll take a temperature again and see the temperature has changed in the copper chloride. Notice that it's gone up significantly from the first temperature reading I gave before I put the aluminum foil in the liquid. So it's 32 degrees Celsius. So you've already made your observation notes of the aluminum foil and the copper chloride prior to me adding them together. Now I want you to write your observations of what you see happening to both of these after they have been added together. Put any questions that you have about this interaction in these boxes here. And then you're going to answer these questions.